He's obviously with uh, Andrew Moore and how's he doing? Yeah, he's, I mean, yesterday he looked really exciting in training when he came in. Um, I think you could see everybody kind of speaking to someone and saying how good he was. Um, I've known about Andrew for a while and yeah, it's the first time seeing him like in the flesh and yeah, really excited with what he has to offer. Um, he's, he's a great talent and yeah, I'm really happy he's with us. You're obviously in one of the more competitive positions in the group with Liam Scales here yesterday. How are you responding to that kind of competition? There's so many options that Andrew has if he plays two central defenders or three. Yeah, look, competition's good. It's what you want. You want to be pushed. You want to have to keep yourself accountable and, and, and play well to, to get your position. Um, obviously, Liam's done excellent. He's doing really well at, at Celtic and playing the Champions League, which is just great for him. Um, and, you know, he's had a a good come-up to, uh, to get where he is now. i uh, played with him for a while and, yeah, I love playing with him. But, yeah, the competition's great, I think, uh, especially in defence, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's really good at the minute and obviously you've got some players injured, Seamus and John as well, um coming back into fall when they're fit. Um so yeah, it's a it's, it's a good time to be an Irish player. Look, it's obviously a difficult campaign, it's obviously a difficult week for the manager as well. Do you feel as a group, of course, it's tough tough its way against the Dutch, do you feel there's, there's one big result in you to try and end this campaign on a high? That's the aim, of course. Um obviously we know that we can't qualify. Um but again it's a international game, it's a competitive game again against a, a great side away and you know we, we want to do something special as a group and if that's all we can do right now that, that's what we want to do you know is, is beat the Netherlands away and we know how much it means to the nations and ourselves and the manager too. Ashley? Yeah Derek's not been an easy time for Stephen Kenny is that something that you talked about in the squad at all? Uh, look obviously the results haven't been good and I think that's just known to everyone um, so we we all want to do really well for the for the manager. We all enjoy playing for him, and you know he's been great to all of us, especially a lot of the younger lads. You know, bringing us in and making us feel a part of the group, and you know, giving a lot of us our first Irish caps, uh, which is something that we we owe to him. Do you feel it would be important to try and get a, a win for him in a way? Definitely, I think for ourselves. Obviously, we have ambitions and aims to to do well for the country, and and also for him. You know, um, the group loves him and. You know, I think we really deserve something like that, and, and he does as well. How have you found him as manager? I've really enjoyed him. He's had me at 21, so I've, I've known him a long time, and he's brought me in and in, integrated me into the group, and I've played a lot of games from him. Um, and, yeah, he's, he's been great. You know, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a good journey we've been on, um, and, you know, I'm hoping there's, there's, there's more time. Gavin? Hey, Derek. Hey. What can you take from the game against the Netherlands in Dublin? Uh, I think we can take this, the start of the game as a massive positive for us. You know, we started the game really well and could have been three goals up in the first half. Um, you know, we pressed, we pressed excellently and and won the ball in, in key areas. And you know, we can take positives from that. Obviously, the game didn't fall our way in a hole, but you know, you got to look at the positives. And obviously, there is them points where we know we need to improve. And obviously, having played them previously, it kind of gives you a helping hand as to what you're going to come up against. Yeah. And can you play in that, like? Sorry, you were so aggressive from the start in that game, as you say, perhaps really high. Can you play the same way, way to the Dutch, or is it kind of called for a slightly different? Uh, I think we can, yeah. I don't think there's any reason why we can't. Uh, you know, that was kind of our identity, and it has been throughout this campaign. Um, doesn't matter if you're home and away, you've, you've got to try and make an impact and, and silence the crowd, so I think that's a great way to do it. Eddie? Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Um, I suppose it's always been a sense with the team um, over the past three years that the following sort of performances, like two games against Portugal, even back that far it was always a sense that the results would almost start coming and the, something was going to click and the results would start coming. It didn't happen. Um, from a player's perspective, is there any sense of what is just the missing link from the, from the team um, to just hit the next step? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Like, I'm, I'm not really too sure. I think, you know, we've been unlucky in lots of scenarios and it's come down to fine margins and, you know, that's football at the end of the day. Um, obviously, we're learning as a squad. It's quite quite a young group, you know what I mean? International football is, is, is so different from club level. You know, you've only got that short period of time and you've got different players coming in and whatnot and, and learning the style of play. Um, I think, I think a lot of it is luck as well, you know. There, there's fine margins when it comes to football and I think we could put some of that down to that. Questions, guys? Paul, uh, thank you. Derek, just sum up your club season so far. Obviously, you've been in the Premier League, but it's been a tough time for the Burnley. 
Yeah, it's been tough, obviously, club-wise. Um, haven't got as many points on the board as we would have liked to have had. Um, probably found it a bit tough at the start, just finding my feet in a new system under a new manager who kind of demands a lot from you. Um, but for me personally, I'm learning a lot. Um, it's been... It's been great for me to kind of open up to a new club. Obviously, I've been at West Brom for eight years previously, so it's my first time at a new club and, and, and learning new things and meeting new people like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to take as many positives from it as possible. Obviously, it's a results-based game. and We want points, we need to stay up, and I think they will come soon. How tricky is that trying to learn when you're saying they're a new system or playing under a new monitor when, when you're under the spotlight of a Premier League kind of environment on a week-to-week basis? Yeah, obviously I think in most scenarios it's okay, but the manager himself and some company, he demands a lot from you and there's there's so much to learn. I was kind of briefed on that previously before I signed, but didn't really expect it to be what it was when I got there. Um, and yeah, we've, we've quite a young squad there as well and he's, he's trying to get information on board to everyone, so there's a lot of information to take on. Um, but we're slowly getting there, you know, he, he, he told me at the start of the season it's going to take you time to get it. And I'm slowly coming around to it now, and I, I feel like I'm becoming a better player. Hey, Peter, just talk to the start of the season when you were taking on the bench. Was that how did it stay that year in terms of the back of the Yeah, it was tough uh, mentally, to be fair. There wasn't really much word said to me, to be honest. Um, I don't know why that was. I think that's just the way he handles things. Um, so I kind of had to get my head around that and, and work hard and put myself back in the frame, which I have done. And I've been playing consistently um, the last however many games now. and I'm really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, it was a tough, tough period. He got two home games. Presumably travel for away games as well. But the lads go in and get stripped in your Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. You know, I think uh, obviously when you're injured, you can kind of accept it because you can't can't possibly play but when you're fit and you're ready and you're, you're trying to do everything on the training pitch right and you just don't get selected it's it's a tough one to take and yeah obviously seeing the boys go out there and you've you've worked hard all week to try to get in that position it's uh it's hard but it pushes you on you know what i mean it's there's always going to be that opportunity again you just got to be there and take it and just in terms of all of the probably going to have the big name strikers that we would have had in the history but it seems like the boats are around someone like Beckham or just somebody you watched or I don't think you played against him was Beckham or somebody you would have seen yeah, look, I was with him in pre-season. He was at Burnley for pre-season, so I know him. I've, I've trained with him, I've played with him. I know kind of what he likes to do. Um, so obviously that's kind of a, a positive for myself. You know, I think Nathan's played with him as well, so we both kind of understand how he plays. Um, look, he's a big player for them. He's he's physically big and he, he, he's going to be a handful, um, but we've got to look forward to it and, you know, meet your head on and, and hopefully get the win.